hi everyone today we are going to make this uh, web search and website reader Jarvis okay and uh, about the live search I it's it's not easy to make uh, our, uh, this one real time live search ability Jarvis I will make this tutorial in future okay because there's uh, some kind of uh, I have some personal setting of uh, personal information that's why I cannot share this one this code but I will tell you how to do this okay now we are going to make this one not the live search we are going to make a web search and web reader C sharp win farm application this is in WPF application this one artificial intelligence real time live search ability this one is WPF application we are not going to work on this one we are going to work in this one web search and website reader okay okay first of all we are going to open our uh, project we are going to create a project new project I am going I'm going to select C sharp and then I'm Windows forum application I will call it web I will call it Jarvis web search Jarvis web search and I will click OK ok now first of all we are going to design our page ok we are going to design it width and height ok let's fix the width and height select your farm okay over here you can see farm 1 then in the properties uh, we are going to set the border style to none okay now we have border style to none and then we are going to see the size and the size we are going to use uh, uh, 1024 okay the height will be 760 okay something 760 like this okay now we are going to add uh, from the toolbar uh, toolbox we are going to add buttons first button uh, I will uh, change the text to minus like this there I will make another button control C control V the other button I will make it for close button I will give it uh, uh, like this X okay now I will make it uh, the uh, I will change the names For this I will make it minimize button min min btn I will call it min btn and at the other one I will call it uh, close btn okay now we have two buttons with the name min btn and close btn one is for minimize one is for close the farm okay now I will place it over here okay and afterward what I uh, I'm going to change the color of uh, background color of my farm I will change it into black okay like this and I will uh, also change the button background color black okay and then for for a flat style I will choose a flat style to flat okay and then I will going uh, I am going to change the uh, color to this one uh, for color okay I will do the same same procedure for the next button background color is black F uh, flat style is equal flat and then I'm going to change the color like this 
now you have a Jarvis type of color on your button as you can see now I'm going to give one label I will add one label I will call it uh, I change the font color like this and the font, font size we are going to change to 14 okay then I will call it something like uh, wave Jarvis wave search okay Jarvis wave search Jarvis wave search okay I will call it something like this okay now we have to add one text box okay we are going to add one text box and you have to make the text box multi-line to drag it little bit like this okay and then make it resize it okay something like this and then we are going to add another button I will copy this button control C control V and this time I'm going to change this color to search okay the text of the color I will change it into search search okay like this and then uh, I have to change the name of the button okay I will change it to search btn okay I will call it search btn okay now we need uh, two more buttons okay uh, not two more buttons we need uh, so many buttons so I guess something like control C control V okay one is for like this or another one control V we are going to make it the same size okay like this now we are going to change the text color of this button uh, no no not check uh, text color only the text we are going to put this sign like this for go back and go forward okay okay this way and this way like this okay now I have to give it one uh, also the dash sign like this hyphen okay I, I gave it hyphen also that it's, it's look like error right now okay then change the font size of it may make it little bit bigger no not something around 18 something around 18 okay now I have to change the text something you can use a image instead of this you can use image okay instead of this you can make a uh, you can use image uh, okay now uh, we are going to change it uh, this one is back button back button we are going to change the name of the btn back btn and forward btn okay forward btn and back button okay now change the text box okay we are going to change the color of text box we are going to make it something uh, font font uh, for color we are going to change in the tile and then fix 3d we are going to make it uh, border style to fix single okay 
and then we are going to change the background color also into black now you can see it's looking very nice somehow okay it's looking very nice somehow and then in a border uh, you have to mm, you need a web browser in the toolbox if you if you go into toolbox uh, all windows forums if you scroll down you can find a web web browser drag it into your forum like this okay now we are going to place it somewhere some something like this okay and now we are going to change our web browser name I will I will leave the default web browser one okay for you to understand uh, what's going on okay now what we have to do we need more buttons okay control V control C control C control V one is for start control V one is for pass and resume control V one is for stop okay and now we are going to copy this text box okay and we are con control V we are going to make another text box here okay and then we need another list box okay we need a list box for get the result of we are going to set the list box over here okay now change the uh, change the color background color of list box we are going to make it black border is border is style fixed single okay like this and font we are going to change in this one okay now when we have this all okay what we have to do we we gonna change the color uh, the uh, names of this also we are going to in uh, we are going to add a label for them for this text box okay let me make the web browser little bit smaller that we can see okay now where is my here is my label okay now first label is for our change the background color to black okay border style to single okay like this and then we are going to change the four color into tile till uh, and then we are going to change we are going to change the text we gonna call it uh, converted text converted text converted text okay and the other one we are going to copy this uh, and this uh, label and we are going to paste it again like this bring it down little bit like this make the result a little bit smaller or maybe I have to do increase the the forum height that yeah something like this okay now we have these all buttons and uh, text box and list box that we need for this application now we are going to start coding okay first of all I'm going to click on a close button okay I will call it this dot close 
this dot close this will close the windows okay okay now what we have to do we are going to uh, add a reference right click on a solution explorer or here a re reference add a reference then assembly frameworks then we are going to use system.speech library click on it check it and press ok now we have uh, system.speech ok library or here ok after what see uh, I have a call right now see you in next tutorial thank you thanks for watching see the next part okay thank you very much